Hi everyone, welcome back to Smash That Small Paper Pad, hosted by Deb Hulk here on YouTube, Deb Hulk's Crafty Cottage. Um, everyone that's participating will be in the description box. I do not believe that everyone that's participating has a YouTube channel, so they'll be posting on Deb's Facebook group and are on their own Instagram pages. So please check out the links and go over and show everyone some, some love and support. Um, so, you know, I did a flip through for Gal Meets Glam. I have eight pages left. One, two, three. I can't count, right? Let's just go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and some scraps. So I am planning, I'm hoping that I will be finished with this paper pad on the next video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep you in delayed suspense, but you can always press fast forward. And I'm going to show you the new one that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using Splendor um, because we will be rolling into um, spring, you know, springtime as well as Easter, Mother's Day and things like that. So I'm thinking that I will be doing this one. And I don't think I'm going to go the same route that I went with this craft that I made. But um, I think I'm just going to make a lot of girly, well, not girly, but cards for ladies. So I don't want to call it girly because, um, you know, women. But I also think that I may use some of this in some of my upcoming project and collaborations that I will be doing. Um, this looks so much Maggie Homish, in my opinion. The colors, the swans, um, definitely like this looks like a Maggie Holmes page to me. Again, I'm not uh, a Maggie Holmes expert, but this looks like one and that looks like one. So people, you know, tend to do the same type of thing. And this came out in 2019. I did pick it up from Tuesday morning so you can... Uh, Go and check it out if you like, or you can buy it from probably scrapbook.com. So what I made is a book. I loved making this book. I do have two process videos and the last part of me putting everything together, like all the sentiments and stuff. I decided to not to film it and just do it. So this is how it looks. I can't make bows. Okay. But it's supposed to be tight enough. You see, it's real loose to, um, have a bow right and no I, I didn't think about doing a velcro or a magnet because I wanted to incorporate this in for multiple reasons that I don't want to really get into um, marvelous on here because you know gal meets glam now I will tell you after working on this kit just not the kit just this paper collection I'm not too impressed with it um, it's nothing really glamorous about it, in my opinion, besides just this one page and maybe the glasses. It's more just like color. You know, it's nothing fancy. I'm not sure if like one portion, like this was the gal and then the flowers. I don't know. Like I didn't, doing it, I was not super impressed at, at the very end. So this is how it looks at the back. And I didn't do the spine, so I have to fix that. I don't have to put... Um, a strip on the spine so uh, when you open it up it looks like this I did use this little sheet of paper that I got on the internet I was looking for some pieces I do have some ephemera that goes with this I actually went to the store and bought some because I was like I don't have any ephemera but I decided to use the things that I had already had and I was like you can always use this ephemera lipstick you can put in other girly or lady themed projects and then I just made some little cards that the person these look like little tiny playing cards huh um but i made these out of the scraps left over and you know the person can write notes or they can put like little uh wallet size pictures on here because i was making this more of like an album versus a journal so um you know the person can use this as they so please now i did open as you'll see when i'm on part one i did leave this pocket open but you really can't use it because it's so tight of a fit um that you can't use it but i did make some hidden and i guess hidden pockets i don't know if that's what they really call 
but in my opinion this is more of an album for people to put pictures and maybe some little uh like maybe you went out a girl's night out and you can put pictures in there from that event um so we have this little tuck pull out uh, spot you can just write a note like if you want to write what that is all about and I did use different elements this is a hottie swap um, project life kit I don't know the name of it but I felt like the green or the teal tied well together and some of the pages are just plain because I want it to be a picture put on there it says seize it and make it amazing you know this is all about gal meets glam so it's kind of like the girl next door kind of goes to Hollywood or New York and gets the big movie role and now she's fancy pantsy. Um, yeah. So then this is just a little card spot that says stay gold. I don't like these, this side, but I really like this side, but I didn't want to cover it up. And this says ma, you know, a kiss. And then you have this and it's some washi tape that I got from Wonder Bar Crafts. Um that I just put on there. I want to, I want to try to uncover it using more of my washi tape, you know, using all the stuff that I have, right? Um, but I don't think I want to make a washi tape series because I would hate myself for doing that. Um, but I just want to try to just grab a few strips and put it in there and eventually I'll use all my millions of washi rolls. Um, follow your dream. So, you know, that could be something. Um, maybe this is a motivational journal, a uh, book, for the person maybe they're trying to lose weight you know or something like that and this is how they look extraordinary i thought that extra extraordinary i thought this looked really nice with this now these glasses these i always think of like um cats pussycat glasses whenever i think of these um you know like from the 50s and the 60s um it just makes me think about that maybe even like grease um and so then here's another sneaky pocket right here now, I tried to do it this way, but you can see Brandy and her measuring mm -hmm. didn't do it right. I could have just cut it down, but I didn't want to because I really wanted to incorporate this color. It's so pinky, 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 and it has just a little light color of something that's not pinky. I also um, did not secure these ribbons down because if the person wants to take this off and maybe she's like, oh, this would be a good thing like this or this would be good like this, you know, she could do that versus keep it on here because, you know, she may take this off and glue it somewhere. Or she may take this off and just glue it on the page. I did leave this page blank um, because it's so busy. And it's one of the few pages I actually think is the gal meets glam. You know, like you come home from work on Friday and you got a date or you're going out, you know, it's a girl night out and you got to get cute. You got to change from being in the carpet world or um, wherever you're working to being va 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 boom. And you need all this stuff. You know, you take your shower, you have your hair pinned up, you put on your shades Maybe you can go somewhere in the daytime because if you're driving and if you have shades on at night, mm -mm. um, so, um, yeah, anyway, you know, lipstick, makeup, all that stuff. And then over here, I just put laughter on here. I thought that would be cool. Another picture. This is supposed to be the center, I believe, of the book. So I like to leave like the center kind of open for the person to do whatever they want. And here's another little pocket. And so what I put on here is I put, um, a quote from Audrey Hepburn on a bad day there's always lipstick and i just put that in here because um of this page right there and you can see how i made all of that Let's see that was supposed to be glued down with that glue stick and it didn't um work you know all the workings of this and it says epic and it's a tuck spot that is just glued down and then you have this and you can put a picture on or you can write notes so you put the picture and you're like yeah you know we went to the parade the carnival blah 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 whatever whatever and there you have it i just thought it would, went well so this gold stuff is from heidi swap and it doesn't uh shed too much which is good and again i used the washi tape that i got from wonder bear wonder bar crafts and then another page so whatever you did over here that was epic you, you know you put it on there and then here's a little belly band i have two belly bands in here and i didn't even um uh, maybe this is farther back okay uh, you have this little pocket and I thought these dots went well with the paper pad. So the story, like what happened, you know, maybe you're hungover, you drink too much. And then this page right here, I thought was odd, um, when I first put it down, but looking at it and I just think it just ties in like all the colors because, you know, a kit is supposed to be a kit that allows you to work 
it all together. And then this is um an oldie but goodie. This is a washi tape from Hobby Lobby. The girl washi tape, I think it is. And then here's another um just fun, you know. Maybe it's just you and your daughter or just you and your mom and you're hanging out and you're doing something fun and you guys did something and you can just put your picture right there. And then right here is the last page and it's just another little um, tuck spot. And I thought that these little dots and everything would go well contrasting together. And then the back, you know, I usually put something on the back, but I'm realizing that, you know, if you put this in something, if you don't put this on a shelf, um, then it may not last for a long time, whatever's on the back. So I've been kind of leaving the back naked. Now this, I did complain about it in um, the production of this because I felt like I didn't put this right. Like I feel like this right here should be over more um, so it would have more room. But overall, I think it came out pretty um, well. I think that it's really cute. And I loved making it. Um, let me know what you feel, how you feel about it in the comment section down below. And go ahead and check out all the other participants. I want to say thank you all for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.